Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office for, I guess, going about seven years. Been a cop for 10 years altogether. Came from a small city in Palm Beach County. I enjoy working with uh, Keith because I know we're basically on the same sheet of music, everything we do. I never really knew what drove me to, to start this career. But my mom, a few years ago, showed me my baby book. And every year, like from first grade on, my number one choice when I grew up was a police officer. So I guess it was destined to be. And I enjoy it. I have a lot of fun doing this. Not the best money in the world. But I think uh, personal satisfaction with what I do in this job makes up for the, the little bit of money. Griffiths Tag Delta Yankee 7. Clear 84, 85, White Oldsmobile out of West Palm. Basically, uh, we have a little entertainment establishment here, adult entertainment. We're going to try and check out what a, appears to be a white, like a full-size vehicle with numerous people in it. Probably has something to do with either maybe like narcotics or uh, maybe prostitution or something. Just a little suspicious sitting out here behind the business. So let's we'll check out with them real quick. Sitting in the car for a while here. <sighs> Hope he's hiding something, right? Yep. Sheriff's office. Dude. Put your hands up where I can see him. Stay in the car. Stay in the car. Put your hands up. Keep your hands. Touch the ceiling. Touch the ceiling of the car. Don't move. Stay there. Don't move. Get down on the ground and put your kick your legs out. Kick your legs straight out. Straight out. Lay on the ground like a, like flat, dude. Flat. Flat. What does he got in the front seat? Yeah, I would occupy 1313B at the flash dance. Right Pretty in the trail. Straight down. Straight down. I'm in Paris, sit just like that so you don't have to lay in the dirt. Step up for me. Sit on your knees up against this bike. And cross your ankles. There you go. Just like that. Just put your hands behind your back for me until we figure out what do you have that you were trying to hide? Just some weed or what? No, I ain't hiding nothing. Dude, your, your hands hit the floor faster than I jumped out of the car. Okay? I'm not playing stupid with you. I wasn't born yesterday, all right? You have anything in your pockets I should know about? Any needles, anything that can hurt me? Any weapons? Okay, give me a favor. Turn around, sit down right here. Sit down. Cross your legs. Nothing in there, right? Alright, that's all I'm doing. Just, I mean, I'm not pulling all your pocket stuff out. I'm saying it's a little suspicious when you're hanging out behind the closed door. There was a large bag in the front seat. Cocaine. So, I didn't start searching the car yet, but the driver tried to conceal it. It ain't me, man. Alright. Powder cocaine. Huh? I'm just from inside the club. Okay. He was packaging it up. See all the baggage? He was packaging it up right when I walked up. All right. You already called out with this, right? Yes. All right. Let's sit tight, man. Just keep your ankles crossed so I don't have to get nervous, all right? Code 30, code 4. Uh, there's no evidence. 459. You get that ID? That's not mine. It's my brother's ID. Where's your ID? In my mom's car. How old are you? 20. Using your brother's ID to get into the uh, I didn't, nah. topless place over here? No, nah, not at all. The requesting 94, is that the one on South of Montana? I didn't do anything wrong, I swear to God, man. Dude, it looks a lot like you, though, dude. Thank you. Is, is that why you use it? No, hey, not here. This is wrong. Just so you know, you didn't That's do anything wrong. That's wrong. Really? 
Okay, I was seeing God, things when man. I walked up on the driver's door. All you guys' hands hit the ground faster than we get out of the car, man. Hey, what's up, man? The driver's definitely gonna go. We got cocaine and everything, but I just wanted somebody else so we could help secure some of the guys, so maybe you could secure him in the back of your car. No, there's cuffs on him already. I just wanted to put him in a car. Dude, I know what I'm saying. I know. I ain't say you're under arrest yet, right? I ain't gonna lie, I was, I was, wait, I was waiting for the girls, I was waiting exactly. for the girls, all right? for the girl. Hey, you know, I don't have a problem waiting for the girls, all right? Tell you the truth. All right, but I'm saying you guys don't know where I'm coming from, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. I don't have a problem with you guys waiting for girls, I mean, that's... him in a club, they were telling us to come out to the car. There was, there was more in the seat than one little bag. So, what's that, what's that little baggies right there? Those are, those are baggies? packaging it. There was more than this, I'm telling you. There, I saw it right in the middle. So either him or the front passenger. I didn't search any of this other stuff. Tell the truth, man. We don't have nothing. We come to the car because the girl said they were going to That's fine. That's the only reason we That's came to the, the car. Who, the girls, the girls from the club or just the girls yeah, that are in here? the girls from the club, man. We we're going to get well, them, man. Well, why are they going to do that? Just because they're nice or because you guys exactly. had some coke? No, no <laughs> man, they're nice. Just because they're nice? I swear to God, officer, look, I ain't trying to get no trouble. A little bit on the back seat. It wasn't in the bag. I put it in the bag. So we'll test it, make sure it's the same, but I'm sure it is. Yeah, perfect. So it's already in bag. Right, cool. already you get to come with us. We provide a ride That's for you. Mine, Dude, you, I saw you put your hands down there. Didn't I tell you that? Just come here. Stand right here. He's got another one on the other side. Listen, Rear passenger seat where I found some on top of the seat. When I walk up to the window and I see you do this, Okay. That wasn't even me, officer. Please, Dude, it was man. you. You were in the back seat. Please. You're in the back seat. It wasn't me, man. Go ahead and field test the substance that we found in the car with a cocaine test kit, and uh, find out if it is cocaine, which I'm fairly sure it is. It looks like it was cut right off the key. The uh, test will show blue color in the liquid if it's a positive test for cocaine. Should take a couple seconds. If that, you see the blue color. And that is a positive field test for the presence of cocaine in this substance. Slide to the other side, man. You know his mom's phone number? I'm going to tell her he's going to county jail. OK? Yeah, the driver and the right rear passenger for sure will be charged with possession of cocaine. We saw both of them in the act of trying to hide the cocaine. We walked up to the car, and the right front passenger will probably get his information and let him go. Uh, he'll be included in the in the case. However, he's not won't be going to jail and be charged with anything. So they're going to jail. The car's going to be ours. Have you towed there for us? Follow you over and courtesy of Palm Beach County Sheriff's yeah. Office. <laughs> looks looks like one of ours without Property the markings. Owned. Just easy to slap a star and a stripe on there. We're ready. <laughs> Of the rental office by the buses facing back and forth. We're going to a, a call where a suspicious persons advised that he's going to shoot everybody inside of a business. Um, it's unknown right now if he really has a gun, but supposedly he has a black box with an unknown object inside of it. We're, uh, we're going to go check out the whole story, see what's going on, and see what he's got to say. Thirty-three for the units at Rental Hotel Advice. Sierra 15, just what side again? Should be on the east side. Was the last call we got? Town four. He's inside. He's inside? Yeah, he's inside the building. Where? Next one. Sounds like he's out. Good night. He's inside the building this time. Advising he is inside the building. Ten four one. Just fourteen out there. Fifty four twenty five with anybody. I keep getting the record. Ready? It's going one or two ways. Tim. Come here. Get your hands where you can see them. Do it now. Let me see your hands. 
I got him. I got him. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Just don't touch me, because anyone, anyone of y'all violate my right, I go sue you. So just be careful what you do. And do whatever y'all got to do, anyone of y'all violate my right. Okay, just relax. 1845. Now, what's the problem, first of all? You tell me. I'm trying to rent a car. Okay. I, I thought you was you, man. Huh? What's the problem? Why you all up on me like that, buddy? Because you're not relaxing, like we're telling you to. Man, I just get out of No, I ain't got nothing no in me, man. Stop putting your hand in my neck, boy. You got any idea with you? Yeah, I got my idea on me. Let me go, dog. You better relax. Listen. Listen, let's get him out of here. No, let me get me know that dog. If I do nothing wrong, boy. Oh, you can't hold me up on me like you can run me. You don't run me. <laughs> no, let me get me know that dog. If I do nothing wrong, boy. I ain't do nothing. All these witnesses, you ain't gonna do me. Sit down. Watch it, dog. Let me sit down. You ain't gonna hurt me. Because you're out of two. What the f wrong with you? I don't see y'all. I glad y'all got it wrong with y'all. Y'all stinking skin. Where's your ID? In my pocket, Mark. Let me, they right in, eating, check. Right there in the right pocket. This one I'm, here? You heard me. That ain't no ID. Put that back in my pocket. That's a bank deposit slip. All right, fine. You can have it. Where's your I ID? I know I can have it. Look in the next pocket. Don't no, move. No, how the you can find my ID? Let me lay down there. Let me lay down. That's all. Let me lay down. Now, now you'll find the ID. Sure. Sent us all of that. Just relax. He finds ID? Long as you don't disrespect me or put your hands on me or violate my my right, I don't care. Six, and I'll be right out and take your foot off me, please. And I don't care. Yeah, charge me with that. That ain't nothing. Take your foot off me, please. I just tell you, I just come out the hospital. You hear me telling him I just come out the hospital and he putting his knee in my back. Officer, please take your foot your foot off my chest, please. So you can uh, come off the entrance at Florida Mango. Uh, come up to where the bus. It looks appears to be marijuana. I just tell you that's what it is. That's what that's I just what smoke. That's what it is. It's reefer. I just drink that for tea. That's my meditation. That's a part of my religion. Selassie is my God. Rastafari, Yahweh is my God. Why are you telling people you're gonna shoot him? I tell her if she if she telling me she put your hands on me, I'll kill you. That's what I tell her. I said if you put your hands on me, I'll kill you. Why you say that? Because the dude pushed me. He telling me I can't even talk, man. I yeah, can't, can't talk. talk. No, take your foot off my chest, man. Talk. I relax, man. Come on, man. You don't treat me with no respect, man. Bring your right knee to your you chest. You think this right now? Y'all ain't got to no, do me no, like no this, boy. That's the God to show us respect y'all got for black people, boy. Just tell me that. What I under arrest for? Seven C's. No, under arrest for disorderly conduct. What I under arrest for, please? Disorderly conduct, possession of marijuana, resisting yeah. arrest. All right. I know I now. Get in that car. No, you said I was just in the red. Oh, I was just in the red, officer. Get in the car. Oh, I was just in the red. Get in the car. What happened? Oh, he came in. He didn't have a license with him or something like that. And, uh -huh. um, you know, he started getting uh, belligerent, you know, real, real Plus bad. That scene, right? Yeah, right. And uh, I told him, look, I'll call you a cab so you can get your license. And all of a sudden, he started saying, hey, if you don't take care of me, he started cussing real bad. I said, I'm going to kill everyone in here. I'm going to come back and kill every single one of you. I'm going to bring my gun. And that's when we hit the panic button. When he threatened to kill everybody, oh, you know, I... with things going on nowadays, no, definitely <laughs> I, I can't, you know, I wouldn't take a chance. Hey, don't spit on my window. I spent an hour cleaning those things. Don't kick out the window. Don't kick out my window, you understand? Sit. I can show y'all I don't give a Yo, I think I give a I can show y'all I don't give a How you doing, brother? We have here the page community again. Bro, we walk in, right? He starts he starts screwing uh, messing with Chris. I ain't touch nobody. Don't even try that. Like, we didn't say you did, sir. Ask them what happened. Ask somebody what happened. Then he starts resisting. Put him in handcuffs. I still under arrest. And it's on. I under arrest for the week, but I don't care. Yeah. You got Act 31, whether you got the gun or not. All of you, all of y'all, every last one of y'all who ain't black people. Sir, who called us? Did you call? Is it? Oh, Got him? Take yeah. on me. You take the hobble, we'll take that. I'm gonna fight this case. I know I ain't pleasing guilty to you. Stinking dogs. I swear to God. If y'all hurt me, I swear to God, I can sue you. We'll take good care of yourself. Yeah, if y'all hurt me, I can sue y'all. Why y'all like, why y'all is treating black people?
Bad America, boy. You always treat yeah. black people bad, boy. I swear, boy. That's why I love Atlanta. Clear. No good dog. Watch your head. Watch your head. Let's get him out of here. 1845. Because uh, I'm a native to the area. I can't even imagine living anywhere else. This is where I've grown up and born and raised. Um, I think uh, most people, when they uh, envision South Florida, they think of uh, MTV, Daytona Beach. Uh, they don't. Uh, they don't take in the the whole picture. Senior citizen uh, brigade and uh, assortment of cultures that live in South Florida. Bravo two four. We're eastbound on Carver, approaching the trail. He just tossed something out the driver's window. I had to get another unit with me before I uh, make a 1050. Two, three. Carver, approaching the trail. This car here, it meets the description of a suspect vehicle that did a bunch of robberies the past couple days. Uh, fits it to a T. Just up ahead of us, and he just pulled a U-turn, U -turn and uh, he didn't use his turn signal, so he used that the basis to pull a stop. Got it. Stay in the car. Sit down. I am awesome. 10-4. 2-4, we're going to be at Carver. Put your hands up on the dash. All the guys. Put your hands up on the dash. Put your hands on the dash. Not on your head, on the dash. What's the problem? Step out. I'll explain to you in a minute. Put your stuff on the hood. Put your hands on the car. This your vehicle? Correct. Put your hands on the car, please. You have any weapons or contraband on you that I need to be concerned with? Nope. You live here? No, my friend does. Mind if I empty your pocket? Yeah, yeah. Step back to the rear of the car. There's a um, little knife in there. Knife like... yeah. Step back here to the rear of the car. Put your hands on the car. Bring your feet back. Spread your feet. And you stay right there. You're not under arrest, okay? You understand that? Yeah. This is for our safety. Okay. I just got pulled over today earlier, so I know that I'm cleaning everything. What did you get pulled over earlier for? A uh, friend had a bad tag. There's no contraband in the vehicle? No. No weapons in the vehicle? Only that little, that little knife right there. And it's yours? Yeah. You had any objection to me looking in there? Okay, do me a favor. Step right over here, right in front of this bumper, and have a seat. Right down your knees. Right there, on your knees. Thanks. Mo. Yeah. What do you need to throw something on it? Just east of the trail, look like a little chapstick container. Just east of the trail? I mean, uh, Haverhill, yeah. On which side of the road? It's going to be on the uh, north side of the road. Yeah, far down. Maybe uh, 7,500 yards. He says it was a cigarette, but it looked a little bigger than a cigarette. Going on yeah. that side of the road? Yeah. They, they it should be way. more towards the middle on the north side. Of it. It's still, yeah, it should still be in the roadway. You said you had ID in the center console. Where is that going to be at? A couple of guys have been running around in a blue on blue caprice doing some bad things. So I want to stop and meet you. What, is, like, what does that have to do with me? You're driving a blue on blue Caprice. There's two of you in the car. All right. Bravo 2 4. You take another one. Excellent. First Christopher. White male. That didn't come out of my car. He just now, you got that out of my car? You threw it out of the car. I didn't throw nothing out of, I didn't throw nothing out of my car. Okay. I threw a cigarette out of my car. Great, listen to me. You think it's gonna be easier? There ain't no cigarettes back there on the no, road no, no. Listen, on the, on listen, the. Listen to me for a second. No, there isn't. Listen to me for a second, because they got the exact address where you threw it out at. Okay, and I went right to that exact address. Listen to me for a second, okay? then I won't interrupt you when you got to talk. You think with him right behind you, he's not able to see something like that? It's a lot easier for you, okay, to come clean, especially when you go to court, okay, than to sit here and lie. We got several pieces of crack. 
This is what we saw him throw out the window when we were falling down the road here, preparing to do our traffic stop. So we got uh, a couple of holes and probably about five pieces. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces and some fragments there. Actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and just some chips. His mom uses the car too, you know, she's, she's crippled. Her, her son needs to get medication for them, you know what I'm saying? He has a rough life. And his mother really does need that car, you know what I'm saying, to get around him. What they do is they buy these chapsticks from the stores, unscrew the whole thing out of there, take out the cocaine, or take out the chapstick part, and they drop the cocaine down in there. And they're just carrying on them at all times, and nobody thinks anything different. But this kid messed up this time. He threw it out the window. 10 cycle 58, 10 cycle 42, then Lanark Park. 10 cycle 58, 10 cycle 42, Well, just because of the fact that your mother is crippled, and, uh, you know, maybe I do have a soft spot in my heart for you, you know, trying to get some money for her because of, of that, you know, the only reason I do believe the story now is because the uh, gentleman up here confirmed it, that your mother was crippled. All right, so we're going to cut your break because, you know, he says she got to go to the doctor daily or something like that. So we're going to leave the car here so when you get out, you can get the car to her or one of these guys will get the car to her. All right, but remember, man, doing crime don't pay. Going out selling dope to get money for things like that. Do the job that you got, man. Help her out that way.